Look, I know Mondays suck, and you probably had a terrible day, so I got you something. Aha! What? What else do you want? That's disgusting. Engineered to handle the most demanding networks, ultimate power, uncompromised speed. Meet the Linksys WRT-1900AC. Just a reminder guys, keep your eyes peeled for a QR code in this video. Why? I don't know, just do it. Mysterious. Email is about to get a lot more secure. Hopefully. Ladar Levison, Ladar, I don't know, who famously shut down his Lavabit encrypted email service rather than be forced to surrender user data to the government, is developing a new set of email protocols called Dime. It's part of the Dark Mail project being helmed by a number of tech security experts and involves nested levels of cryptography which can only be accessed by specific entities so that no service provider has all the information about a message, only its sender and recipient. Email providers like Google and Yahoo are already looking at better encryption methods, so Levison hopes Dime will be picked up by larger companies and thus make email everywhere more secure. Which is great news for my hamster picture discussion group. I don't want people to know about that, oh no. The creators of OpenGL, the Kronos Group, are looking to rebuild the graphics API from the ground up to allow for lower overhead, better multi-threading support, and a common intermediate shading language. Low-level access has been all the rage recently, being a prominent feature of AMD's Mantle and the upcoming DirectX 12. A ton of tech companies are on board to assist with the development of the open standard, so hopefully they can all play nice together. I'd hate to see this turn into fisticuffs. Fresh details on the Nexus 9 tablet being developed by HTC have been popping up, indicating the device will feature the 64-bit version of Nvidia's Tegra K1 processor, also known as Project Denver. We haven't heard of Project Denver in a while, leaving some to believe it was dead in the water, but NVIDIA has scheduled a Denver event at the upcoming Hot Chips conference. The tablet will apparently also feature 4GB of RAM, the most we've seen in an Android tablet, and together with the K1, should give this device some real horsepower. Hey! <coughs> So we're doing this 1,000 video giveaway thing. You could win over $2,500 in prizes if you find the 20 QR codes hidden in netlinked and unpacked episodes. So make sure you're keeping your eye out. And now we're posting all of our videos to Reddit and the NCIX forums where we'll be giving out bonus QR codes. So make sure you check those and hit the links in the description for your chance to win. All right, that's it for Netling Daily. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And what's that? Hmm. Well, I'll think about it. You gotta put some pants on first.